Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben, and it's time for another crypto update. And if you have been on YouTube or social media, you're probably seeing a lot of this. The crypto crash. It's over. Crypto is over. Uh, the truth about crypto crash revealed. I'm just going through simply searching crypto over. I've seen tons and tons and tons of videos. Uh, everybody saying that it is over with. This is the end of cryptos. No more. Kaput. Because we had a drop in price. Now, I got to reiterate this. I keep having to reiterate this. Man, you guys follow me. You know this already. This is not a crash. When you're looking at this chart, Bitcoin is still, this is just a daily chart, but still, even with that pullback, has an uptrend. It's still uptrending. <laughs> Since this is back to uh, November 15th, the start of this uptrend on this chart. And every time, as I've said before, let me just delete that one. Every time, as I said before, we have these big pullbacks, which actually, if you take a trend line, a straight trend line, and measure from the top of a crash down to the bottom, see the actual distance. That right there was the 2017 start of this crash. Right, so we're going to drag that down. We know that length. And now the crash that we're currently in. Right down that trend line from those all-time highs. Now, this may be scary here, but we have not crashed yet harder the same distance on the chart as we did in 2017, 2018. So we could drop lower, possibly, but we're coming down to this trend line that every time it is broken, it has ripped. And this is just on Bitcoin, right? So where's Bitcoin at at the moment? It's down here at 20,000. And the type of pattern that we have forming on this is possibly an inverse head and shoulder, which this would be a shoulder, this would be your head, and this would be the other shoulder forming we could see a pop back up to that 25k mark this line here so after this nice little quick sell-off that we've had this dip this crash if you want to call it a super crash I still don't think it's that big a deal we look at this even shorter time frame the last week Bitcoin along with Ethereum some other cryptos have started to uptrend a little bit so one week of uptrend if we continue these uptrends into next week we may be back onto a nice bounce at least up to that 25k bitcoin though however i'm not bullish on i've been telling everybody that for a while it's not my favorite play but just looking at this to answer the question of cryptos is cryptos over no they're not over <laughs> Certain projects may be over, certain projects may, be, may not be able to survive through this, but there has been projects that have survived these big downturns before. So Bitcoin, if it loses dominance, could break this trend line. Ethereum, on that same time frame of that daily chart, scroll back, you can see is still on an uptrend. <laughs> So even though Ethereum has dropped from all-time highs, the, you know, it was all the way up at 5000 it's lost $4,000 over this time period since the beginning of this year, and it started bouncing right here at the bottom of this trend line. And if this trend line can hold, we can see Ethereum bounce back up to that 20... Mm, we do have the 200 day moving on average at 25, so I would say if we do continue to bounce, we could see it come up here and test these levels. First, it is going to have to break through about 15, eh, maybe 1700, this previous little floor of support on the short time frame. But this is a nice inverse head and shoulders pattern, actually a little bit better inverse head and shoulders pattern than that, that is on Bitcoin. But even though in a 
even though Ethereum and Bitcoin are not rebounding that fast, we are seeing some big rebounds in some of the altcoins. So Adam has bounced all the way down from that low of 550 up to 850, going straight up green all week this week. Looking very, very strong as $5, that price is super, super low for a project like this. And Cosmos is the perfect example of why crypto is not over. If you look over on CoinMarketCap, this is a similar website to CoinGecko and a few others, but I've started using it some. I'll put a tutorial out on it soon. I actually like it quite a bit than the other ones that we've been using. But you look, the last three months that Cosmos has been crashing, look at the total number of unique addresses holding assets in this network it has increased over the past three months there are more unique addresses holding cosmos now at these low prices than there was three months ago so nobody stopped investing or buying cosmos actually the lower prices have allowed new investors to come into the ecosystem new retail traders and new projects to continue to develop if we continue to see this trend go up like this that means that the cosmos ecosystem is getting more and more adopted which this all makes perfect sense the prices are lower more people can get in now when we're at all-time highs at 44 dollars you can only buy one atom and you cannot do that much with it at that time but now that is down to under ten dollars it's a lot cheaper it's in a lot more people's scope now that it's at those prices so it makes perfect sense then this is showing that crypto is not dying it's showing the actual opposite even though the prices are crashing we're seeing more and more adoption to me there's no debate crypto's not going anywhere Peter Schiff, anybody else, you're welcome to come on and challenge me, but I fear there will be a grave waiting for you. Anyway, the whole Cosmos ecosystem has been kind of up and down, but Juno made a nice, nice rebound, jumping up to that $3 area, having a little bit of a pullback today so far get rid of these old lines and we have a new little trend line on the short term starting now of course the big downtrend is right here but we actually tested that overall downtrend from Juno's previous uh, highs in April of $28 so not only has Juno started rebounding pretty decently at least at the moment XRPT persistence actually had a nice shoot up just a few days ago to $1.26 off of this 84 cent level so we're still downtrending and everything and we could see lower prices it is a possibility but the more lower prices we see we're seeing more adoption which only makes me bullish more bullish on the long term on blockchain of course i've said it before though not every project is going to make it not everything can make it we've seen pl plenty of projects come and go in the altcoin space we're seeing a lot of competition in the pte blockchain space starting to pick up while we're on the cosmos ecosystem i do want to mention that there is an inflationary period happening right now with osmosis so this link will be in the description if you scroll all the way down here it shows you this thirdening process which is what's going on at the moment will allow Osmo to reach an asymptomatic maximum supply of 1 billion. So we're at this thirdening process, and this is the last process before all of Osmo is going to be out. So and another altcoin to note, which is a blockchain, Solana. Some people dislike Solana quite a bit. My research has been mixed. I am still mixed on it. I was pretty bearish on it, but there is starting to be some bigger investor attention. I've been seeing more articles coming out. So the new play to earn game that I've been playing, the shooter that's similar to Halo, uh, is on the Solana network and you can get paid out in Solana. So this game has been pretty interesting, gain these EIO tokens 
which here soon, over this week supposedly, you will be able to convert these into Solana. So I'm still really mixed on Solana, but it is on an uptrend. And if it continues on this uptrend, it's got some room to go if it can break. 45 and then 50 maybe back up to this test of this uh down the overall downtrend there like 80 dollars we are a little ways off of this uptrend so we'll see what happens pkt actually while things have been rebounding has been pulling back from its rip so kind of seeming like it's running against the crypto market when most cryptos dip pkt gets some strength uh there is quite a bit going on in the pkt network if you did not catch the video with the caleb the developer of packet and cjdns they have the anode vpn that is releasing here soon and they're working on multiple features for that and there is a new miner for desktop that has some very nice ui we'll be updating everyone on next week but pkt is still one of my top watches no matter what is going on so on to our p to e gaming i believe i'm gonna start covering axie infinity why axie was cheap down here at 12 dollars and the ronin bridge was down it took me a little bit of maneuvering and digging through the internet and the blockchains to get a little bit of funds over to the Axie Infinity Marketplace on Ronin to buy some Axies. You do need three Axies if you're going to play Axie Infinity, the NFTs. But there is a new version that they're working on that you can play now that has starter Axies. But they're not the starter Axies are not really NFTs. They probably might turn into that later. I don't know just kind of really getting involved now with axie infinity and seeing what comes out of it but why it was really cheap i was able to pick up five axes for about 20 bucks you can breed those into higher stronger nfts because i want to see what the play to earn rewards are but you do have staking on axie and the staking rewards are 81 percent so you do have to have the ronin wallet now the ronin bridge is supposedly back up but they are having a few issues so you definitely want to be in the axie discord or reach out to me in the framework fortune discord and i can try to help you through that but we're going to experiment with axie and see how much you can earn with on to play. gods we've got a massive amount of updates on gods unchained you see it has started uptrending again same with imx IMX never really fully crashed out, got down to like 63 cents multiple times, but every time it's bounced off there, bouncing off again, right back up to 88 cents. That staking is live. As long as you're holding IMX and trading on the Immutable X platform uh, in IMX and whatnot, you should be getting staking rewards. And then Gods, their staking is going lively over 1 million in Gods tokens in total is being redistributed to players who have held and will continue to start holding will continue so if you're not in gods yet you can still get in to get a part of this gods offering this staking but you want to be holding the gods in your immutable x wallets and meet the eligibility criteria in each period so from their estimates over 80 percent of imx wallets containing gods are eligible for these rewards just to clear up confusion, your IMX wallet is basically the same address as your MetaMask wallet. They're just kind of like attached. Rewards are calculated each week if you meet the eligibility criteria for that period. If you miss the meeting, if you miss meeting the eligibility criteria in a given week, you only lose out on rewards for that specific week. So scroll all the way down for the eligibility, and you will see you must be holding gods in your IMX wallet. And it must be linked to your God's Unchained account. So if you're new, this is a little step you have to go through where you have to make sure that your Immutable X wallet is linked to your God's Unchained account here on the godsunchained.com. And then you must have plus one of the following criteria. Player, play at least one game of God's Unchained in each reward period, so each week, or be a mentor create a new nft through the forge at least once a week and for this reward period 
purchaser purchased at least one expansion pack from the Gods Unchained website during each period, or if you're trading, buying, and selling and all that on the Immutable X platform at least once a week, then you will be eligible. So you only need to be one of the following. You don't need to be all four. If you're playing, then you're good to go. If you're just minting, you're good to go. If you've been purchasing packs every week, then you're good to go. And if you are trading on the NFT marketplace, then you're good to go. And I would say you're probably going to get a little bit more if you meet more than one criteria. But we will try to get into a little bit more details in a video later. Some more updates. There's a whole lot of these tournaments popping up for Gods Unchained. It's not just on communitygaming.io. It is also on Goose Stakes. I do have a first look at Goose Stakes from before. This is another platform like Community Gaming, but this one has come a long way from the last time that I covered it. So the GU Stakes Summer Series is here. There's tons of tournaments going on both on community.gaming and over here with lots of sponsor prizes. So be sure to check out, if you are a God's player, both Community Gaming and Goose Stakes. Links will be in the description below. So I've noticed a lot more growth in the God's community as well, a lot more competition during the weekend ranks. But with all of these rewards coming out, that should accelerate growth especially with the amount of YouTube gamers and investor traders like me who are covering the game now. So go check that out. Alluvium has dropped quite a bit. This PD game has been hyped like crazy. The token was all the way up to uh, you know, $2,000 at the high. It's all the way down to $135. The game is barely out in beta not everybody even has access to it yet but they had the big land sale most of the lands are going up in price slowly it seems so we'll see if that continues i don't think i'm going to get into gala games i've looked at it maybe when grit comes out but i don't know the other day there was a weird big giant spike out of nowhere on d race where it just shot from 25 cents all the way back to three dollars previous highs back here and it has come all the way back down. So I don't know what happened there. But if you call all of that profit, nice job. Still keeping an eye on property. Real estate market's been looking rough. So I think as the real estate market crashes, we're going to start seeing more adoption there for blockchain technology across real estate brokers, agents, all of that. The computer systems that they use, the data they're using would be a lot better on blockchain. The whole uh, ML real estate MLS listings would be a lot cleaner on blockchain. So I think it's pretty clear Gods is growing, Cosmos ecosystem is growing, Axie I think is going to start seeing some growth now that the Rona Bridge is getting back up and running. Once they get all the issues re resolved, it'll be so much easier for people to get into Axie again. Now we may stay in a bear market for a little bit longer and we may see some pullbacks. We're just overall volatile in all the markets i believe the p2e gaming sector will probably be the next big blockchain run uh, here soon after we're out of this bear market downturn just got to watch this consolidation across the market over the rest of the weekend in the next week when the futures are back open and we see what the stock market's doing and gold and silver and everything and look for that divergence, that split between the NASDAQ and the crypto market. And with Bitcoin down and Ether down, we may start to see more altcoins ripping because a lot of the altcoins are super cheap. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you want to debate me about whether crypto is over or not, leave it down in the comments below. Be sure to check out the Framework Fortune Discord and FrameworkFortune.com. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Till next time.